I'm the democratically elected representative of my region. We don't have kings, so I don't know. Anyway, welcome to Power Boat Television. I'm Steve Bull. This week we're the very Canadian cruise ship, the Saint Laurent, in its first summer cruising all of the Great Lakes. Highmark Line's 300 foot long cruise ship has a 50 foot beam. Rescued from a shipyard, the MS Saint Laurent has been refitted and upgraded. There are 105 passenger cabins, and all totaled between front of house and nautical staff, there's a crew of roughly 80 people. It travels the length of the Great Lakes a few times a summer in one-way trips from Chicago to Montreal, or vice versa, taking about 10 days. Other options are to Toronto instead of Montreal. Highmark says this is a relaxed, luxurious cruise that primarily attracts those 50 plus. I've cruised on three different oceans, the Baltic, the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, and the Yangtze River. Worth Camp was typical of the passengers we chatted with, and a hell of a nice guy too. Great Lakes was my bucket list selection. We've been to a lot of interesting places, but the Great Lakes is the great mystery in the South. We don't have a clue what the Great Lakes are all about. So I'll be uh, telling this story back in South Arkansas. As a history buff, Worth was impressed with the local flavor of each destination. Here in Little Current on Manitoulin Island, passengers went by busload to a First Nations educational center. We lived around here. We only came here to get certain medicines at certain times of the year. A brief overview of the original history of the Great Lakes and the island in particular was capped off with some award-winning traditional singers and dancers. By late afternoon, it was time to cast off and head out into Lake Huron. The next day, we were in the middle of the massive lake, not a ship or shore in sight. Even though there's thousands of passengers each season, there's one common observation. A lot of people are, uh, are really taken back by the size of the lakes. Um, comparing it to oceans, you can't see anything. There's, there's no shore in sight. And a lot of people also don't realize that all the lakes are connected. The crew is no exception. Well, I grew up in central Illinois, but we never made our way up to the Great Lakes area. So this was a whole new uh, you know, experience for me and it's, uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. The ship is smaller than the superliners you see in the Caribbean, and the activities are geared towards the older demographic. Instead of wild pool parties, there are things like daily lectures about the coming destination. Next up, Detroit. The ship actually moors in Windsor, Ontario for the day, so passengers take buses across the border. And when they're back, right on cue, the St. Laurent slides out, spins, and heads out into the Detroit River towards Lake Erie. Coming up later in the show, we get a behind the scenes look at this massive powerboat, and I get onto the bridge. I have seized control. Welcome back to our cruise of the Great Lakes on a huge powerboat, the St. Laurent of the Highmark Line. Sure, the ship is comfortable. The food is great in the comfortably fancy Shearwater dining room and very unique on the aft deck where the meat cooks on super hot slabs of volcanic lava rock. But I'm not happy just being a passenger. So we've experienced all the luxury and comfort of the Saint Laurent. I've driven a lot of different boats, so I can't quite get off without checking out how you drive something like this. I won't look at the code. It's like an ATM pin number. Once inside, I immediately stage a mutiny. I'm the captain now. Well, not really, they're, they're just busy. Which adds up because there's a lot going on in here. All right, we're on the bridge now. Staff Captain Vladimir Velkov, thanks for giving us a sneak peek. Um, tell us what's going on. Uh, we're, we're on the bridge, we're underway. W what's, what's happening here? Uh, we are in the middle of the lake, so there is no any dangerous, no any traffic at the moment, and we are in uh, autopilot mode. You can see the, the big white here, <laughs> autopilot. Uh, we have two 
two engines which are unique Chotel engines. They can turn 360 degrees. With everything the crew has to deal with, it's mind boggling. Because we're in autopilot mode, he can demonstrate how he hand steers the drives to have control at the stern while the bow thruster takes care of things at the other end. Nothing is harder than the locks though, and there are plenty between Sault Ste. Marie and Montreal. It is stressful every time because you don't want to touch. With the cargo ships and the locks, they just uh, swipe the ship. They don't care about the sound, they don't care about the paint, they will paint the ship again. This is too pretty to do that, and not to mention the sound would terrify passengers. But we've still got a bit of a run until the Welland Canal, so it's smooth sailing at the moment. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm stressed just thinking about what we have to do, but I appreciate the view. We'll let you get back to it, and we're going to go. I might check out the bar now. Staff Captain Velkov had another kind of fuel in mind, and instead led us down to another rarely seen area of the ship, the engine room. It's loud out here. Actually, it's pretty hot in here. Surrounded by four massive CAT 3516B engines, these kitties are about 70 liters each and pump out a couple thousand horsepower and a whole lot of sound. That is loud. As the sun sets, content in my behind the scenes tour, it was time to rejoin the passengers. When we came back up into the lounge, a much more pleasant sound than the engine room. Nightly performances by talented performers. Tonight was a full-on Karen Carpenter impersonation. And in the next room, the bar, with some amazingly friendly staff who were all too keen to show off their skills. Luckily, a combination of indecisive patron plus a try em all attitude led to this triple pour. And up at the outdoor restaurant, a different kind of impromptu entertainment was going on. <laughs> all in all, this is a great way to really explore a region that many of us never get to see. And even for those of us who grew up near the Great Lakes, we don't always get the experience to this level. If that doesn't call for a toast, I don't know what does. <laughs>